Hello, my name is Joanne Rico. I'm a college student. This project is from a Physics 2 class. Today we'll be talking about Sir Arthur Eddington's solar eclipse observations. This experiment will allow us to plot the position of stars located near the sun during a solar eclipse. The experiment was based on Cepheid variable stars. On an early research done by Henrietta Leavitt, we learned that CFAs are used as a measurement indicator due to their pulsating patterns. During this experiment, we had several goals in mind. The first goal was to get clear images of the stars around the sun. This was only possible during a total solar eclipse. For this event to happen, we had to wait a few years. <clears throat> the second goal was to prove Albert Einstein's theory. In 1919, we were finally able to obtain clear images and the results were fascinating. The images proved that general relativity is true and it works. Our third goal was involved in ethics. We wanted to keep the physicist community out of the world. The world was at war, but we did not want scientists to be at war as well. Sir Arthur Eddington advocated to scientists to keep their friendships, especially with Albert Einstein, since he was from Germany. <clears throat> this experiment took place during the 1919 and it was in the African island of Principe. Other significant events around this time. During this era of new theories and new experiments, the world was living World War I. So who was involved in this experiment? Other people were involved in this project, some were not directly involved, but their research helped in one way or another the outcome of our experiment. Sir Arthur Eddington came up with the solar eclipse observation that helped Albert Einstein prove his theory of relativity. Arthur extended Carl's work to understand better Cepheid variable stars. A few years prior, to Eddington's observations, Sir Frank Watson had already recreated a similar experiment plotting the position of the stars relative to the sun. So they had all um, somehow or another helped this project become true. My role during this experiment was to research previous and similar experiments as well as collect data from uh, stars around the sun. Uh, so what impact did this project have on the physics community? The project had a great impact on the physics community and the world. For example, now we use GPS, right? So this had an impact from GPS to signals to gravitational redshift and timing of pulsars to the o orbit of Mercury. So nowadays we use GPS in everyday life and we don't think about it. It's in our phones, our computers, our TVs, cars, and we use it every single day. So what other discoveries were made by Eddington? <clears throat> When researching Cepheid variable stars, <clears throat> Eddington began to study internal thermal pressure of the stars. He was able to discover that all stars, regardless of their size or shape, that all behaved as ideal gases. This was a great discovery. Furthermore, during this experiment, he was able we were able to determine that light traveled in a curved path, not a straight path, as we had thought before. So this was another great discovery that was possible after this experiment. Thank you.